Hello everyone! For today's video, finally magpapa bike fit na tayo sa one of the best bike fitters in the Philippines, which is si Sir Frederick Ilagan. Hello, Hello everyone! everyone. <laughs> I do my fits starting with an interview. Then after the interview, we'll head on with a physical assessment. So I have to learn more about your body by measuring your body. Then after that, if I see that they have to align the body, we'll do a physical, uh, we'll do a body alignment. Plus, we'll do a mobility and flexibility restoration to make sure you get, that you're more flexible, you have a better mobility before I get you riding the bicycle. Okay, okay. okay. Alright, so we're done with the interview. Okay. You'll be the one riding that beautiful time trial bike over there, okay? You're the one pedaling. You're the one sitting on it. You're the one who gets to feel the discomfort and pains, and you're the one who understands your body. Yes. What I can do as your fitter is to put you in a position where I can see is functionally correct for your body. Okay. But I don't want to be the one dictating the position. Okay. I want to make sure that the position I'm putting into is something we both agreed after trying out several possible combinations of position. Now, yun yung nakita natin na perfectly suited for your current fitness level and your riding goal. If there's something that I need from you today, since you're the one riding, that will be your full honesty and cooperation. Okay. Why? Okay? So, it will make our fitting a lot more easier. So, everything you feel, even the slightest discomfort, good, bad, please let me know. Those things will give me information on what else I have to do for to further improve your position okay. on the bicycle. Okay. Another important factor, ayoko po na mahiyain. Why? <laughs> because when you're on the bicycle, minsan may mga bagay na gusto mong gawin pero hindi mo masabi kasi nahihiya ka. Like, Sir, parang ang baba ng upo ako. Sir, parang ang, ang baba ng cockpit ko. Can you try raising it? Definitely. Okay. Why? Kasi ikaw yung sumasakay okay. eh. So, your opinion, your idea, it matters a lot to me. Okay? Uh, I need to know it para malaman natin, baka mamaya, yun lang pala yung hinahanap natin na gawin to further, to make your position a lot better okay. on the bicycle. Okay? So, next thing is, um, during the fitting session, you may experience some pains and discomforts. Okay? The first type of pain could be related to a wrong position on the bicycle okay. that we need to address by adjusting the bicycle to, to, so we can work or we can solve those issues. The next could be related to muscle activation. Like what I said earlier, since this is your first time to ride a tri time trial bike, you will need to adjust or adapt on the position, especially in terms of muscle usage. The next most important thing is adaptation period. Okay? Let's say you've been used to riding a road bike. Pag nilipit sa tri bike, it's normal na lumalaban yung katawan mo. Na parang gusto niya bumalik sa dating position. Okay? Kasi parang dito ako nasana. So, I always tell my clients, give your body time. How much time? I always tell them, it usually takes 3 days or 21 days to adapt on a certain position. So, first week, it will feel bad. 3 to 21 days? Uh, eight, 3 weeks to... Uh, three, weeks. 3 weeks. So, but that's not for everyone. May mga tao naman na after first fitting session pa lang, they feel good na. Pero, not everyone's like that. So, okay. ako, I'm telling you, you know, what to observe na para you know na pag if you feel something, ah, it's part of adaptation pa. Okay, so, first week, sometimes it will feel good, sometimes it will feel powerless, weak, sabi mo, parang ang baba ng saddle, parang there's something wrong. Second week, it's, it starts to become comfortable, pero yung power wala pa rin. Third week, it's getting there na. So I always tell my clients, take it easy or moderately in the first three weeks after the fit session. What do you mean by moderately? Hindi naman yung sobrang chill ride lang. You can still do 30 km per hour, 35, pero no hard heavy efforts like you're sprinting or no steep climbs. Why? Pag automatic, pag nag zone 4, zone 5 ka dyan, syempre yung katawan mo, nasanay sa dating pedaling technique, nasanay sa dating position, hahanapin niya. Gusto niyang bumalik sa ganyang position. Pero ako naman, after observing your, the photos, that you sent me, it's, I'm very confident naman na hindi ka mahirapan kasi you can properly roll your hip forward. Oh. The usual problem kasi ng mga uh, riders on a TT bike is they want to ride a TT bike but they're having a hard time rolling their hip forward. Okay. Yeah, so pag nangyari yun, minsan, hindi nagiging ganun ka aerodynamic yung result. Uh, yung parang yung sinento ko sa'yo. Yes, which is good naman, okay? The next thing is, I always tell my clients, all our fits are back with a lifetime free fit three adjustment. Okay. Meaning as long as the same bike, all checkups, all refits are for free. You don't have to pay me a single centavo. Why? Okay. I love seeing my clients evolving or improving on the bicycle. For me, seeing them improving is a 
uh, achievement already. It's a fulfillment for me already. Okay. Then last next thing is for me, it's uh, I want to make sure you get to maximize your bicycle and you get to maximize what you're paying me for. Then lastly, all the fits are back with a 90 days money back guarantee. 90 days money. Yeah, meaning if you're unhappy with my services, just tell me so, then I'll refund the payment. Why? I want to make sure that every time I'm working with a client, I'm giving my best. Yeah, my friends, yeah, okay? yeah. So, so, yeah. Um, well, I'm done with the... Yeah, I will link the description about Sir Fred's contact number and his rates uh, or website and uh, socials para if you want to get a bike fit okay sir friend after this uh, vlog uh, you could just click down below yeah thank you <laughs> yeah. all right so we'll head on with the physical assessment okay all right so where did you learn how to do all this stuff um i um, graduated from masco <laughs> Pero after ng college, hindi ko masyadong nagawa yun. Nag-travel oh, agency yun. ako, business, yeah. for five years. And then, yung pandemic. And then ngayon ko lang nagagawa talaga yung yeah, yeah. what yeah, I... At least na, nagagawa mo, di ba? Siguro iikabito. Alright. Yeah. So, you can kneel here, facing the wall. Oh, remove the shoes and the socks first. No shoes and socks muna tayo. Okay, atras ka muna. Good. Just kneel. Just relax. Okay, good. So, this is a 15 degree virus on the left and an 18 on the right. All right, thank you. What I just did is I measured your forefoot angle. Theoretically, what they say is the foot should be flat like this. Okay, may arc ka, pero yung angle niya ganito. Pero in all my years of fitting, I haven't seen anyone with a perfectly zero zero angle. Kumbaga nakaganto yung paa. Okay, so majority ng population nakaganto paa. 95%. Oh, okay. Yes. Drops like this, pronated, okay? okay? And only 5% is like this, valgus. And you yourself, you're part of the 95%. You have a 15 degree on the left and something more of like an 18 on the right. So, what does it mean? So, meaning when you pedal, when your foot lands, it doesn't land like this flat. It lands more first on the lateral, then it goes like this, okay? okay? So, when you pedal, anong yari? When you pedal, you don't push down like this. Okay. You push down like this. Kaya minsan, yung nimo, Pumapasok, like this. So this affects stability. If stability, it affects comfort and efficiency plus power production. I'm going to observe how your foot and your hip moves. There you go, right knee locks first. I love it. And then both slightly medially rotated. That's very good. I just jot it down. Now I'm going to measure your foot and the width, your foot length and the width. This is a 223. Yeah, it's telling me the left is longer by two millimeter. Now I'm gonna mark the metatarsals to know the clit positioning natin. No MTP difference naman. It means the left and right clit should be in the same position. That's good news. Now I'm going to measure in sim length. I need you to put this in between your leg like this. One hand at the front, one hand at the back. Pull up. There should be enough pressure to make you squeal because I'm going to measure the in sim length, okay? The, the highest that you could pull up. So it's a 72.2, thank you. Now I'm going to measure your weight difference on the left and right side of the body. So you're around four kilograms heavier hmm? on the left side of the body. Oh, this All is right. interesting. Bob. Yeah, so there's an imbalance on your body. Okay, Just drop your shoulder. So yeah, your left AC joint is slightly higher. I'm gonna touch your ilac crest, huh? your hip. Mo. Just relax. Your left ilac crest is slightly higher than the right. Reach your arms and reach for the ceiling, please. Balance, drop your arm. Drop the left hand and open the eye. Very good, that's for active left eye. Your left eye, is tricking your brain, making you think your posture is correct, or in reality, tabingi po yung posture mo. Leaning to the left. Now, I need to lie down on the bed. Lower, relax. All right, sit down. Look at your, look at my thumb. Which leg is longer? Right. Yeah. Probably around three to five millimeters shorter left leg. Yeah. So when you're sitting on the bike, it's the same thing. Usually. The longer foot means it's the shorter leg. Okay. Yeah, so it's normal. Don't worry, that's normal. Nothing to worry. We'll start with the body alignment. What I have in me is a very strong magnet, okay? Very good. Uh, okay. Walang power, di ba? Why? <laughs> Meaning your body is normal. You're not under hypertonosity nor hypo. It means we can fully align the body. It's a good news for okay? okay good That's good. Yeah. <laughs> well, stand over here. Go start with the alignment. Okay. 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 Okay.
you have a reactive left eye. You can mulat na, okay? Open your eye. It's making you think that your posture is correct or your hip, your alignment is correct, where in reality, tabi ngi siya. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure I can align your body, okay? Lie on your back. Good. Just relax. Sit down. Look at my thumb. Pantay na. Look at your ankles. Medyo lumapit. Yes. Okay. So what I just did to you is Steve Hogg's technique of body alignment. Stand over here. So it's part neuromuscular therapy, part kinesiotherapy. Okay. So we highly believe that most of the misalignments of the body, the lack of mobility, the uh, tightness that you have, the imbalances that you have, these are not all biomechanical issues. Most of the time, these are neuromuscular issues, meaning these diseases, viruses, or fractures in your body, okay. it's not going to come back, okay? No. So, yung pinantay natin, hindi yung ball pen. <laughs> oh, yung ball. Yung, yung, Ang pinantay natin, yung ankles mo, yung maliolus mo. Yeah. Yeah. Kasi kanina, the left was shorter, so I had um, to align it. Good. Okay. Weird, no? Yeah. Yeah, I did the weirdest okay, things. <laughs> okay. So we're currently done. So and um, that's the uh, body alignment. Body alignment. Dito po siya. Ten loops, easy walking. Lang. So easy walking for ten loops. And ten. Done na. And hello, Kuya. Ayan. <laughs> hello, everyone. <laughs> and makikita na sa YouTube na. <laughs> Tapos na, tapos na. Uh, naka 10 loops na ako. So. Stop. Mula ka. Where are you going? Ha 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 so it's yeah. telling me, sorry, sorry. Okay. That's why you were complaining to Masaki. Yeah. Okay. Let's okay. focus that. Oh. You put too much weight on it. So we're going to work in that more. That's very good. That's funny then. Stop your chin to your chest. Just relax. This is a good hip extension. Very good. Very good. Softer left more. Raise your left leg up. Even tighter. Sige nga, sige nga. Up, go. I want to check the right leg. Go. I know what's the same now. Can I hear this? You're unstable on the left and more stable on the right, okay? Kailangan medyo fit ka na or nag-ano ka na or doesn't have to Which one? Pag nag-bike fit. <laughs> uh, hindi naman. It, it, hindi naman po. Kasi not everyone has the time naman to always ah, ride okay. the bike. But yun nga lang, the fitness level, uh, it's a great determinator kung ano pwedeng posisyon na magawa sa client on the bicycle. So, syempre, if you're not that fit, kasi you're like me na, I okay. really lost a lot of fitness level, don't expect yourself to be in a very okay. aggressive aerial position. So this is more on um, the bike feeder na chinecheck yung yes, limitations, oh, yeah. the strengths in the rider. Para alam natin on how to position you properly in the bike, alam natin na sa position, kakayanin mo at the same time, hindi ka may injury. Like what I said, I'm going to enjoy this bike. Yes. Eventually, 
Pag dating na races, hopefully yeah. next year, let's go air roads. Mora man, uh, minsan, dadaling ko rin ko sa mga sump climbs. Yes, so Very... gusto ko yung pag nakasakay ka, mas mahal ka sa kanya. Tapos parang na, gagawa ko pa rin siyang in a position where I can hold this. Pag... Yes po. Kasi ayoko na your ride po ng... Gusto ko ride all the way lang kasi yun yung yes. problem ko. Pag... Lalo sa traffic. Oo, oh, yun. <laughs> Especially if I put it too far forward, aggressive position. Hello everyone. Si Jeff Mato. Yes. 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 Okay na! <laughs> isa na lang, isa lang. <laughs> Tinatanong ako ni Sir Fred kung kamusta yung pagsipa ko ng 145. Hindi, actually wala ako na, hindi ko napansin. Yeah, nakalimutan ko rin sabihin sa 145 ko lang. Pero okay po. Yeah, I like it. Sobrang smooth, then mas, mas stable siya. So later on. Oh, okay, later okay. Okay, okay, okay. okay, okay. Nakasipa rin yung bike ah. <laughs> Kala ko solo ko ngayon eh. Yo no. Pero Kapatid niyo si Mito. Yes, po. Okay. But different um, siya, pero same theory. Actually, uh, noong 2019, when I taught my brother, ito sabi ko, sobrang dami na nag... Sa bike team. Yes. No. Uh, ito sabi basic. Sabi ko, sobrang dami na. Iba, hindi na makapag-antay kasi dati kulit ko. Oh, yeah. Eight months, gano'n. Ito sabi ko, kasi magpunta sa iba, Turo ako na lang siya. And then sabi ko, I'm not gonna teach you everything. Sabi ko, it would be unfair for me. Sabi ko, I invested so much time, money, yeah. effort. Sabi ko, you have to work on your own. So, pinasok ko siya sa specialized. So, yun, yung kanya, pinapractice yan, is yung fitting yung theory ng specialized. Retool? Yes po, retool, tsaka yung BG fit. Yeah, Pero, the body geometry fit. Previously, uh, nag-bike kit na din ako ba yun? Yung road bike or retool? Yes po. Okay naman. Retool is okay. Yeah. I used to be one of the first retoolers in the country. Yung nga lang, uh, dumating na sa point na parang minsan parang ayoko na sundin yung computer kasi sa computer it looks good. Pero, sa client ko, they're not satisfied with the position. Oh. And that's what led me to study pa. Okay. Different ano, protocols. Okay. And then, nangyari, retool is good. Nangyari lang, um, I trained in UK, I trained in Australia, tinuroon talaga nila ako to work without using uh, any motion capture system. Kung baga, tinuroon nila yung, tinanin nila yung mata ko. Ilang years po ba kayo nung I've been in the industry for almost a decade already. Wow. <laughs> Hindi ko akalain na mapunta ako sa linya nito. Never was my dream. Yeah. Pero thankful. Yeah. Tinatanong lang ako ng tatay ko kung gusto kong gawin sa buhay eh. Because previously you're a government uh -oh. employee. Gusto niya magpiloto ako. Sabi ko yan ang huling bagay na gagawin ko. Sabi ko, ano gagawin mo? <laughs> eh, nagtrabaho ako for him noong panahon na yun sa company niya. Sabi ko, I want to try something new. Something mm -hmm. far, do something related. Kasi I got addicted to triathlon eh. Yeah. Something you will enjoy the world yes, recovery uh -oh. talaga eh. Then ito, napunta ako sa city and then uh, dumating na yung point na mas nag enjoy kung nagkakalikot ang bisikleta kaysa si Masa kayo. <laughs> <laughs> But yun nga, kagaya nagsabi niyo sa interview ko yun. Uh, ang maganda is parang yung client pa rin, mas maganda is honest yung client. Yes, very Kasi important. Kasi sila pa rin yung... Ang hirap sa hirap ako. Mm -hmm. Pag tinatawin mo yung client, nasa doon sa'yo okay. Uh, I never accept okay as an answer. Patuloy, kita ko na yung gusto ko mangyari sa'yo eh. Break the pressure in 1 to 10, and 10 is painful. How would you... When it comes to what part? The private area. 
Why? Anong problem mo dito? This is my job. What you need is patience. Kailangan lagi ka excited na ka solve ng challenges. Uy, pumapower. Grabe, lakas mo sumipa. Alam mo tawag dito? NSP. No? Thank you. We're done, ma'am. Yay! Woo! Ay, wow!